Hey Carla, it's the holiday season, Christmas time, trees lit, that can only mean one thing, time for another recipe. So here we go. So today Carla, we're making one of, uh, another one of mom's holiday dishes. This is our holiday cheese ball made with cream cheese and uh, some veggies and goes great with crackers, great for hors d'oeuvres, great for snacks at uh, your holiday party. Very easy to make, very quick to make, uh, very tasty, and a little bit different from most of the regular old-fashioned cheddar cheese ball stuff that you normally see at parties. So we're going to get started, and here we go. So, welcome back to the kitchen, Carla. Today I'm making one of my favorite holiday snack recipes from Mom. But it's not just for holidays. You can make this any time of year. It's mom's holiday cheese ball. And here we go. Now, the ingredients for this are fairly simple. It's a cheese ball. Um, so we're starting off with two packages of cream cheese. Room temperature, very, very soft. Remember that. You don't want this cold. We need a little bit of celery. We need a bell pepper. I'm using green bell pepper. Well, kind of green and red bell pepper. We need a little bit of onion. Don't get a big onion. We're only using a small amount of this. So, there you go. It's just a yellow onion. We're going to need some seasoned salt. Lowry seasoned salt. A um, small can of crushed pineapple. This is going to be very well drained, but crushed pineapple. And we're going to need some chopped up pecans, or pecans, depending on where you're from. That's pretty much it. So let's get started. So the first thing we do, put the very soft and cream cheese into a bowl. And remember, this has to be literally at room temperature. Very, 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 very soft. Okay. Next thing I need to do, I need to take the crushed pineapple. We need to drain it. So... I'm going to put it into a little, if I can get my hands under this, there we go. Get the lid off, put it into a colander, like that. I'm going to let that drain for a few minutes while we work on the other stuff. Okay, we're going to need, for the bell pepper, we need one quarter of a cup finely chopped bell pepper. We're going to need one quarter of a cup very finely chopped celery. So we're going to do that first. Now, we want the bell pepper chopped up as finely as you can possibly get it. So using a sharp knife, I'm going to slice into this. These are small portions, and just very finely, very, very finely cut this up. Like such. We're going to keep doing this until we have one quarter of a cup. I try to avoid cutting my fingers. I've injured myself enough this week. But very, 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 very tiny little little dices of the green pepper like such I'm gonna keep doing that till we get one quarter of a cup all right so I've got one quarter cup of finely chopped up green pepper now I'm gonna do the same thing with the celery again very 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 finely chopped um, into little bitty little bitty pieces so I'm just gonna split this Just 
through tiny little strips and then chop it up. And I've got to tell you right offhand, I'm not a huge fan of um, cheese balls to begin with because most cheese balls are basically like American cheddar shredded up and a bunch of other crap added into it. And I'm just not a huge fan of that. I love I love cheddar cheese, but not in a cheese ball. It just doesn't work for me. Um, this is different. There's no cheddar in this. It's all cream cheese. This is a recipe that mom makes, uh, and I absolutely love it, and it's um, got some interesting flavors in it. Um, funny story about this, I made this <clears throat> once, many years ago, when um, we got a new priest at church, Father Willoughby, came to um, our church in Savannah. By the way, i got to mention, I'm Anglican, Joseph is Roman Catholic. Um, but Father Willoughby came <clears throat> to serve our church. In Savannah and there was an open house at uh, I guess the parsonage or the rectory whatever you call it and so I made this to take to the open house put it on a little table there and uh, later on I walked by and there were these two old ladies well I call them old ladies maybe they weren't so old but I was like early 20s at the time so they seemed old to me maybe they weren't yeah nah we're just going to go with two old ladies. They were two old ladies. We're going to leave it at that. Um, who were eating this cheese ball. And they were talking about what all was in it. And they had all these wild notions about all this. And I walked up to them while they were having this discussion about what all was in this cheese ball. And one of them insisted that there was crab in this cheese ball. And one insisted there was shrimp. And I'm standing there looking at him, I said, there's no crab in this, there's no shrimp in this, there's no meat in this of any kind. And this one old lady looked at me and she said, oh, you don't even know what you're talking about. There's crab in this. And I looked at her and I said, I'm the one who made this. And they still insisted that I was wrong, that um, there was stuff in here that's not in here. And um, something about the combination of the vegetables and the seasoning and all that um, tends to throw people off. But it's very, very tasty stuff. Uh, and Carla, I think you've had this before. I've made this one year when we were teaching at Godly Station School. Uh, I made this and took it. I think it must have been on teacher work day or something. Um, and I brought this. So I think you've had this. Uh, it's really good stuff. I'm trying to get this finely cut up. Like so. So get the celery cut up just like the bell peppers as finely as you can. I'm going to keep doing this till we get one quarter cup and then we move on to the onion all right so i've got one quarter cup of celery finely chopped now it's time for the onion now for the onion we only need one tablespoon of finely chopped onion uh, i'm just using a plain yellow onion so if you're buying this and you're just using it for this don't buy a big onion get the smallest onion you can get and we just need to cut it up super super fine for this doesn't take a lot uh, a little bit of this goes a long way so I'm just gonna basically mince this into tiny little pieces till we get one tablespoon by the way Joseph is not going to eat this I can tell you this right now because it has number one has onion in it he does not eat onions number two it has bell peppers in it he does not eat bell peppers number three has celery in it he does not eat celery so all of this is for me all right so kind of kind of cut up there and we're just going to slice again you need this as finely cut as you could possibly get it especially the onion um, needs to be very 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 finely cut and we just need one tablespoon Trying to get this almost like paper thin cut. All right, let's go with that and see what we got here. Tiny little pieces. Probably gonna take my knife and just kind of cut it up even finer to get it as fine as I can get it. It smells like onion, and that's okay.
mom did actually publish this recipe in the um, cookbook at the church um, well they did a cookbook one year and um, I have to tell you church cookbooks are some of the best things ever because um, you can get some amazing recipes from church cookbooks all right so that's about one tablespoon right there kind of a heaping tablespoon and put this in a little dish and we're gonna let it go with that all right so there's our chopped up ingredients all right time to move on okay so next thing we need to do is we're gonna start off with our very soft and cream cheese we're gonna add the pineapple to it and get that started in really well Again, the pineapple needs to be really, really well drained. Pineapple is well incorporated with the cream cheese. Okay, like such. Okay, then we're going to add <coughs> one cup of chopped pecans. Um, I do this without making a mess. Probably not. Very finely chopped pecans, if possible. You're using two cups of pecans total. One goes in the mixture, one goes on the outside. All right, so there's the pecans added to it. Um, I bought a bag that had pecan pieces, and they were a little bit large for me, so I kind of threw them into the, like the ninja and cut them up into smaller pieces. Mom used to do all that by hand, um, literally with a knife. She would sit there and just cut pecans into tiny little pieces. Mom has a lot more patience than I do. I'll say that right now. Alright, so there's the pineapple, there's the pecans. Mix them well together. All right. <clears throat> then we're going to add the green pepper, one quarter cup. The celery, one quarter cup. tablespoon of the onion you could probably use a shallot for this if you want something like a little milder than the onion a shallot I think would be awesome in this Kroger didn't have any shallots yesterday when I was buying groceries so so be it so I just went with the onion but stir all this together really really well And there's something about the combination of the flavors in this that really misleads people into thinking like there's meat in this. And I think the secret ingredient of why they think this is this next ingredient. One tablespoon of seasoned salt. Something about this throws people off trying to figure out what is in this. Um, but it's a good combination. It works. So we're just going to stir all this together really, really well. And again, your cream cheese has got to be really, really soft like this. Otherwise, you're going to have a, like a really hard time doing this. So, stir all that together. Like so. Get it all mixed in. And then we're going to um, mold it into a bowl. All right, so getting ready to put this into basically a mold, what I do is take a round bowl, take two pieces of saran wrap or cling film, put one going in this direction, mold it in the bottom, another one going 90 degree angle, 
welds in so I get basically, well, almost full coverage. If I could do this right. Me and Saran Wrap do not get along, by the way. Um, never had the knack for it. But anyway, so we're going to take this, put it in here, so that it will then obtain the shape of the rounded bowl. And then it's going to go in the fridge. And it's going to chill. Become more solid. And the thing about this particular cheese ball, by the way, Carla, is um, make it at least one day in advance. Because you want the flavors to basically meld together. Because um, if you make it fresh and all that, it's just not going to taste the same. It's much, much, much better if you make it uh, at least 24 hours in advance. Probably could have used a smaller bowl for this, but that's okay. We'll work with it. Got a feeling my dog is going to clean this bowl for me anyway. She's staring at me. She's not on camera, but she is staring me down. Alright. So basically, I'm just going to press this down to get it to fill the shape of the rounded ball. Again, I probably could have used a much smaller ball, but Oh well. We'll make do. Alright, like that. Alright. Into the refrigerator <clears throat> overnight. Let it solidify. Let it chill. Let the flavors meld together. And then we'll uh, get ready and finish it off with the um, pecan on the outside and get ready to serve it. Okay. Once the cheese ball has kind of stiffened up again um, in the refrigerator, kind of unmold it from the bowl. That's why I use the saran wrap. It makes it easier to get it out of the bowl. So we get this, and we just take the remaining pecans and kind of press them into the edges. And there's no neat, easy way to do this. You gotta use your hands. Um, but basically, just press it into the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get kind of a, a covering on the cheese ball. And yeah, it's going to be messy and your fingers are going to get kind of messy and that's okay. Um, to be expected. Just kind of cover it with pecans. Uh, if you don't have pecans or you don't have access to pecans or you don't like pecans, you could use walnuts. Um, would be okay. The flavor would be a little bit different. But the texture is going to be the same. So if you're not a pecan person and you prefer walnuts, that would be just fine. Flip this around. Again, I'm using the larger pieces of the pecans to um, coat the outside. Use the finer pieces when I put it into the mixture itself. Almost done. Like such. There we go. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but you get the basic idea. So there we go. Put those aside. And now we're ready to kind of dig in. So pretty much all set and ready to go. So we're gonna take some of my favorite crackers. I use I like the social bowls crackers, but um, use whatever your favorite crackers are and just spread this on the crackers like such and enjoy oh yeah that's good that's really good combination of flavors between the pineapple, the cream cheese, pepper, the celery, um, season salt. That's the kicker right there. Season salt makes this complete. Absolutely delicious. Perfect for a party or make it anytime. If you don't have a party, it's still good. 
make this all year round, not just for holidays. So, I like mine on sociable crackers. Pauline likes hers on little Alpo crackers. She'll be getting some shortly. Mm. Good stuff, though. From Mom's Kitchen to your kitchen, Carla. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Love you. We'll see you soon.